I suspect they don't make much difference, but I think that they are visual stimuli that to make us use our vision in a way that previous generations didn't, and it's quite conceivable that they make the symptom more obvious. Uh, but again, there's very little evidence uh, either way. Looking at a computer screen doesn't make it worse for me, but it's, it's using a computer for hours on end without a break that seems to make it worse. So whether that's actually something from the computer screen making it worse, or whether it's neck tension that's making it worse, or whether uh, just not taking a break from a computer makes me focus on the symptoms more, it's hard to say. I know that there is some kind of, there is some correlation between using a computer without taking breaks, I just don't know what specifically is causing it. We've not noticed any any causal relationship with modern technology, smartphones, um, computers, visual stimuli in that way. I think people with visual snow who use vision devices are more likely to notice it, but I don't think that's a causal relationship. I don't think using these devices makes it worse. People with visual snow, they have a tendency to be very light sensitive. So obviously looking at computer screens for prolonged periods of time can be much harder for them than the average person. And frankly, that's not even recommended for the average person to do. You know, look in front of a computer screen, TV screen, cell screen, etc., for that long. But that was something that when I was in university became much harder for me when I got visual snow was typing on my laptops, doing assignments. All these things became hard, obviously, because of the light exposure over time. And there, other than that, there's no correlation that I've found, <laughs> at least in like technology making my symptoms worse. If anything, I think I would be in a much darker place if I hadn't found support online through technological mediums.